The NASCAR Cup Series has Sonoma Raceway for the second road course race of the season, and we see a driver pick up their first career NASCAR Cup Series victory. What's going on, guys? This is Daniel, and welcome back to our video. I just got done watching NASCAR Cup Series race from Sonoma Raceway, the Toyota Save Mar 350. I've got some thoughts about the race and thoughts about the driver picking up his first career victory. Let's go ahead and just talk about it. So, before the green flag drop in this race, a ton of drivers would have to go to the rear of the field. Chris Rebell would change a steering box. He would go to the rear. AJ Allmendinger, uh, Eric Jones would also go to the rear for unapproved adjustments. And Cody would have failed inspection, I think, three or four times. And they would have to do a pass-through penalty as well. So, as to our race, yeah, Kyle Larson lead the field from the outside. And Chase Elliott on the inside. And Kyle Larson able to get around Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott tries to put up a charge against Kyle Larson, but doesn't do anything. And Kyle Larson is able to start pulling away. Chase Elliott tries to close in, but Kyle Larson hangs on. The first cost race to come out of lap number 10 for Bubba Walls, who really wasn't have a good race to begin with. He basically lost an engine off in turn number four, bringing out the first caution of this race. And then we saw a little bit of strategy. Kyle Busch, William Byron, Todd Gillen, Justin Haley, AJ, Eric Amarola, Chris Bell, and AJ Allmendinger all decided to come down up the road while the rest of the field decides to stay out. The reason AJ came down up the road, though, is because they went under the hood to work on the power steering issues, which they would not have that throughout this race. So on the restart, Kyle Larson lead the field from the outside and Chase Selly on the inside. And Kyle Larson is able to clear and keep the race lead. And then Eric Jones was spent from 20 position a couple laps later, was able to keep going. And then basically we saw Chase, eventually Larson started basically taking off. Chris Buescher gets around Chase Elliott for a second and Chris Buescher starts to catch. A lot of drivers decide to basically come down the road, including Daniel Suarez, Ryan Blaney, Cole Custer, while a couple guys stayed out. <clears throat> then the next lap, Chris Buescher, Chase Elliott, Michael McDowell, they all come down pit road. Meanwhile, basically Kyle Larson stays out and he would pull away and win stage one. Only a few drivers would stay out. Because of that, he would basically have to drop to the basically the rear near the back because he basically had to come down the road to get fresh tires, but he would win the stage. So on the restart, Chase Elliott, who actually won basically after this, was the leader. He would lead the field back on the outside and Chris Buescher on the inside, and Chase Elliott was able to clear for the race lead and dominate. Chase Elliott pretty much dominate the next portion of this race. Chris Buescher tried to put up a challenge against Chase Elliott, but he never really had anything for him. The next instant race happened in lap 47, where Eric Jones spun into turn number 8, was able to keep going. And then the next lap, Ross Chessing, he also ended up spinning from 4th position to race, but would lose some positions after trying to dive bomb his teammate Daniel Suarez, which we'll talk about later in this episode, but was able to keep going. And then the next lap, Hendra Motorsports made history by becoming the first team to lead 100,000 miles in the Cup Series Editors organization. Congratulations to the team on doing that. And then green flag pit stops would start happening near the end of the stage. Mark Trey Jr. come down pit road first. Then guys like Tyler Reddick, Alex Bowman, Austin, Ryan Blaney, Brad Kozlowski, they all will come down pit road. Unfortunately, Tyler Reddick would get penalized for end of speeding on pit road. And then all the rest leaders, they would come down pit road, <clears throat> including Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson, Chase Briscoe, Austin Sinder, Michael McDowell, they all would all come down pit road. The two guys out in front, that being Chase Elliott and Chris Buescher, both would at the time get penalties. At the time, Chris Buescher got a penalty for throwing equipment with the gas can, and Chase Elliott got a base. He had to stop leaving pit, basically from leaving pit road. That's how the loose line nut, but had to work on the car out of the box and would drop to the rear on the restart. But a couple guys would stay out of stage number two, and Joey Logano actually would win stage number two. And then NASCAR actually decided to go ahead and rescind the penalty that Chris Buescher had. They decided to give him a freebie, and they did not penalize him in the end. So on the restart, Chris Buescher lead the field from the outside, and Daniel Suarez on the inside. And Daniel Suarez is able to basically get the race lead from Chris Buescher, and he started to pull away. And then Ty Reddick, he spun from turn 10 and got some contact from Josh Blicky, but they were able to keep going. And then Tyler Reddick would, unfortunately, he would go to the garage due to that damage and would basically fall off because of that. And then we kept going, basically going green here throughout this run. Chris Buescher drove under Kevin Harvick to get around him. Then we had, had a bunch of guys started having issues. Green flag piss stop started happening. Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, Harris Burn one lap. Then he had Mark Trick, Jr., Justin Hilly, Christopher Bell. Then Ryan Blaney, then Austin Eric, And then the rest leaders would all come down pit road. And then after all this basically happened, Ross is saying he had issues. Kevin Harvick had a long stop, which is unfortunate because he had a fast car today. Ross is saying he had issues on pit road. And then the next caution, the final caution of this race, will come out around 30 with 28 laps to go 
For Kyle Larson, who lost a right front wheel, this is going to be a four-way suspension for Chris, for uh, Cliff Daniels and a couple of pit crew members. It's a shame Larson had a fast car today, and they gambled, and he unfortunately lost the light run for real. He would drop to the rear due to that lost wheel. And then on the restart, because it's called the rest of the guys that did not pit, they came down pit road, and we went back green with 23 laps to go with Daniel Suarez lean field from the outside and Chris Buescher on the inside, and we saw Daniel Suarez get the lead. Meanwhile, Kyle Busch really tries to send it into the corner, who is fifth at a time. He would basically lock up the rear tires from sixth position and would basically end up spinning. And then Cole Custer also spun in 15th in turn 11 as well. Then we saw a couple guys decide to basically come down pit road. Denny Hamlin, Christopher Bell, then Mark Trick Jr. And with a few laps to go, A.J. Allmendinger would fall off the racetrack. So the race became a cat and mouse game between, between Chris Buescher and Daniel Suarez. Daniel Suarez is looking for his not only his first win of 2022, but his first career victory at the time. Chris Buescher is looking for his first win in nearly six years since August of 2016 and had a way stronger car than Daniel Suarez. In the early portion of the run, Chris Buescher was catching Daniel Suarez, but Daniel Suarez near the end of the run really found something and started to pull away and eventually got so far out in front that we thought that A.J. Allmendinger would spin would actually bring the caution out, but luckily for him, it would not... And coming off the final corner at Sonoma Raceway, Daniel Suarez, after all the heartbreak and all the emotion, he comes off the corner. And finally, after all the waiting, he is now officially a Cup Series winner. And Daniel Suarez picks up not only his first career win, but also his first win of the 2022 season. Let me tell you something. I've been waiting so long for Daniel Suarez to win an NASCAR Cup Series race. I was really on the TV just standing on the edge of my seat. Because it seems like every time this guy's got a winning race-winning car, something terribly goes wrong. And I knew something potentially could go wrong for Daniel Suarez. But after four or five years of waiting, because people called this guy a bust, even though he's an Xfinity Series champion. People were calling this guy a bust a few years ago. Got picked up by Trackhouse and started doing great things with this organization. And now, after all the waiting, he's now officially a Cup Series winner. Oh my God, Daniel Suarez is a freaking Cup Series winner. Becomes the 12th driver to win in the Cup Series this season, meaning now there's only four spots left to make the playoffs. Huge congratulations, Daniel Suarez. Finally, he's a Cup Series winner. About time he gets a Cup Series victory. He deserves it. Led the most last. I think he led like almost half the race today, which he absolutely clearly deserves a victory. Huge congratulations to Daniel Suarez on picking up the victory. So now let's go through the results of the race and give me my score of today's race. So, Chris, so Daniel Suarez picks up the victory. Chris Buescher finished the second. Chris Buescher never ran outside the top three or top four pretty much all day long. Had the best car he's had in a very, very long time. He missed the race last week due to COVID protocols. He comes back, has a very strong car, and ends up finishing second. This is good momentum, though, for that 17 team. They were one of the fastest cars, if not the fastest car today. And they get a really strong second place finish. Amazing run from Chris Buescher. Michael McDowell finishes third. Michael Waddell also was a top five car pretty much most of the day as well. Never really ran outside the top five. Had a great day in that 34 car. He's a guy that's an underdog to make the playoffs right now. He may win a race here down the road. I think you're going to have to win a race now to make the playoffs for sure. Really awesome run for Michael McDowell, though, in third place. Kevin Harvick did a really strong run in fourth place. Kevin Harvick was a factor near the end of the race for the first time in ages. So to see him get a top five is great to see that for Kevin Harvick. And a big bounce back after Gateway. Austin Hinter finished his fifth. Austin Hinter really was never fast all day, but he got up there because of strategy and definitely passing cars. It gets a really awesome fifth place finish. Sinner's had some good runs recently, and I think he's definitely trying to, he knows he's got to start doing more stuff to make sure he's safe in the plus. He gets a really strong fifth place finish. Ryan Blaney gets a very solid sixth place finish. It's all a run from him. Ross Chastain, after getting into a Kyle Larson late in the race, he finished his seventh. Chastain keeps clicking off top 10 after top 10 every week. Gets a nice seventh place finish. Chase Elliott, after his issues late, he bounced back to an 8th place finish. Chase had one of the two or three fastest cars in this race. It's just a shame that he never really got a chance to go back for it, but gets a very solid top 10 in 8th place regardless and helps him in the points. William Byron gets ninth place. William Byron never was a factor, so it seemed to get a top 10 today. And by the way, his first top 10 is season since all the way back at when he won a Marzell. So it's great to see that in the 24 back in the top 10 for the first time in ages. Brad Keselowski finished his 10th. How about that? That's Brad Keselowski's second top 10. Brad had a top 5 car, but that caution came out probably the worst time. Never got a chance to get back up there at 10 for top 5, but still finishes a solid 10th place. Austin Dillon finishes 11th. Justin Haley finishes in 12th. Chase Briscoe, I thought was getting more of a factor day. He finishes in 13th. Eric Amroll finishes a solid 14th. Kyle Larson finishes 15th. What could have been? I think Larson had the best car. 
But they played a strategy call. They tried what they did last year. The gamble did not pay off. And unfortunately, they started falling back and never got back up there. But they get a, they get a top 15, so at least they did rebound somewhat. It's a shame they never really could have an opportunity to contend for the victory. But they do get a top 15 regardless in the race. Alex Bowen finishes in 16th. Alex Bowen was never a factor today. Joey Logano actually got a stage win today. Finishes in 17th. Kurt Busch, who struggled early, bounced back slightly to an 18th place finish. AJ Allmendinger, after his issues, he finishes in 19th. How about Joey Hand getting a top 20 for Rick Ware in the 15th car? Saw a run for him finishing in 20th. Cole Custer finishes in 21st. Eric Jones finishes 22nd. Eric Jones spun out multiple times and got a 22nd place finish. Not a good run for him. Ty Dillon finishes in 23rd. Todd Gillen finishes in 24th. Ricky Sinaus Jr. finishes in 25th. Mark Trex Jr. finishes 26th. He was horrendous today. I expect Trex to be a contender. He never cracked top 10 at all, really, except on strategy. He was terrible today. I think it's getting to the point now where it's just not a good run for Martin Trex Jr. in 26. Chris Sabell also really didn't have a good day either. Joe Gibbs Racing really was completely off the pace today. He finishes in 27. In fact, <clears throat> I think all four Joe Gibbs cars finished outside the top 20. Harrison Burr finishes 28th. Josh Blakey finishes 29th. Kyle Busch, who was pretty strong early in the race, never recovered. He finishes in 30th. Denny Hamlin finishes in 31st. Cody Ware finishes 32nd. Scott Hacker finishes 33rd. 34th for Corey LaJoy. He went multiple laps down. Really never got an indication on what happened. Ty Reddick, after having issues and having transmission issues, finishes 35th. And finishing last in 36th place is Bubba Walls. So now let's go and talk about my score of the race and give you my thoughts on today's race. Even though I'm a sack that Daniel Suarez won today, this race was very disappointing. I expected more from this race, not going to lie, because I thought this car was going to be raced really, really well on road courses. And I wonder if it was a tire combination they brought in today. I wonder if it was like really, really just a cooler temperatures, because it's usually never in the 70s in California at this time. But unfortunately, the race really was not that good. For me, I'm going to give today's race at Sonoma. I'm giving it today's race, unfortunately, really, I'm going to give it today a 6 out of 10. I, well, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 just because that finish for Suarez winning. But it really was not a very eventful race. It did improve as the time progressed, but it really wasn't that great a race as a whole. I'm giving actually give it a 7.5 out of 10. I did expect more from this race today. I thought this today's race is going to be really, really good. It's great to see Daniel Suarez win, but I really wanted more from today's race. And unfortunately, we've had some weak races, kind of weaker races recently, though I thought Coda, the gateway was good. It's just a shame that this race wasn't as good as it could have been, but there were also good points, and it's great to see Daniel Suarez win. So anyway, that is game for today's race be from Sonoma Raceway. I want to thank guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel, turn up case, Sean, so you know, fight when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on page to all the list schedule below over that, and comment your thoughts on today's race. What are your thoughts on today's race? Let me know below. Let me know your score in the comments below, and congratulate Daniel Suarez on picking up his first career victory in the Cup Series. Let me know in the comments below. Tomorrow on my channel, I will not have a NASCAR video at all, as I'm going to be working on a massive project that's going to be coming out here on, so you, you will go see here on Tuesday. It's going to be a top 100 greatest NASCAR Cup Series drivers of all time. I hope you guys tune into that video. So anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys next time for some more great awesome NASCAR and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.